While water enhancers can be effective in fighting wildland fires, there are still many unknowns related to their use. For instance, the optimal viscosities and consistencies for various types of applications are not well documented, nor are there any Forest Service evaluations of water enhancers proportioners regarding accuracy, reliability, and the like. So if you plan to use water enhancers in a fire situation, you may need to experiment beforehand to get the best results. Still, there is a lot we do know about water enhancers. For instance, depending on the mix ratio, water enhancers consistencies can vary from thickened water to a very thick consistency similar to petroleum jelly. Also, water enhancers tend to last longer than foams. But while both are dependent on the water they contain, water enhancer products and foam systems are not compatible. And like foam, once the water evaporates, water enhancers are no longer effective. As such, you cannot use a water enhancer as a retardant. Further, re-wetting water enhancers after they have dried has not been proven. So don't assume you can add water to a dried water enhancer and get the same or any effectiveness that the water enhancer originally provided. So how are water enhancers used? Water enhancers are good at smothering a fire or creating an insulating barrier for structure protection as long as it retains its water. And like foams, water enhancers can be used in a direct or indirect attack. In a direct attack, a lower mix ratio, that is a thinner consistency, is best for smothering a fire and should be applied directly to the base of the flame front. Higher mix ratios or thicker consistencies are better for coating and protecting fuels. But be aware that if the mix ratio is too high, you may run the risk of the product falling or sloughing off the fuel. In a direct attack, Treat standing vegetation, such as trees, by spraying the water enhancers in an arc for best coverage. Use your water enhancer as an insulating barrier to provide protection from radiant heat, scorching, flame impingement, and fire. In an indirect attack, the effectiveness of a water enhancer line is limited by the time it takes the water to evaporate. That is, as the water evaporates, the water enhancer loses its effectiveness. And once the water has completely disappeared, the water enhancer line becomes useless. Water enhancers can also be used in structure and resource protection and prescribed fires. When using a water enhancer for structure and resource protection, you'll find the higher mix ratios with thicker consistencies are very effective at protecting structures. They are quite durable and fairly long lasting. Water enhancers can be used to protect telephone poles, cell phone and microwave towers, wooden fences, and the like. Just remember, it's important to remove the water enhancer residue from structures once the danger of fire has passed. Water enhancers have a role in prescribed fires too. When other barriers are not available, thinner water enhancers can be used to create a temporary control line during prescribed fire and backfires until you can build a permanent black line with an ignition device. In general, the more adverse the burning conditions, the shorter the time should be between the water enhancer's application and ignition. Water enhancer solutions can be used to reinforce an existing line by applying it next to the line or on both sides of the line. Water enhancers can also be used to try to slow the fire before it hits the fire line. Unlike foams, water enhancers are not recommended for mop-up because they are not wetting agents. They bind the water so it can penetrate into the fuels to extinguish any remaining embers. If you plan to add water enhancers to your arsenal, there are some commercially available water enhancer application systems available. Individual water enhancer companies have developed specialized systems for applying their products as well. Contact the water enhancer companies on the supplier contacts list to identify additional water enhancer dispenser options.
Just remember that water enhancers, which have not been thoroughly mixed in the correct proportions, can clog your equipment and be difficult to remove. The USDA and U.S. Forest Service have produced a series of videos that discuss wildland fire chemicals in more depth. We hope you'll view each one to learn more about these important topics. You can also find more details on the Wildland Fire Chemical Systems website. Here you'll find information on safety, environmental issues, product quality, mixing ratios, aerial delivery systems, and other topics related to knowing when and how to use wildland fire chemicals.